hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm smile marie aka maya and today i'm back with another video as you guys see by the title um we're gonna be doing a little girl talk today you know what i'm saying we're gonna be hanging out you know what i'm saying <laughs> we just gonna be chit-chatting about you know girl stuff you know what i'm saying we're gonna hang out we're gonna talk you know what i'm saying how y'all doing how y'all been how y'all doing yeah stuff like that there's gonna be more about the stuff that i wanted to tell y'all in my like latest vlog if y'all haven't watched that go watch it and basically it's gonna be kind of stuff that i didn't get to talk about because i didn't want the vlog to be too long like i don't want my videos to be too long so we're gonna be talking about all of it here while we do our makeup Man, like an everyday makeup look you know what i'm saying mm. Mm, look at your girl I want like a like a makeup tutorial you can comment that below. You'll let me know. You know what I'm saying? I can get that done. Because this isn't really a makeup tutorial. It's really just us talking as I do my makeup. Because that's what all my thoughts come to me. Let's hop right into the video. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and get started with this makeup. First of all, how y'all been? How y'all doing? You know, just popping. Of course, you know what I'm saying? It's only right that I ask y'all how y'all doing. First thing first my birthday did just pass yes i turned 20. uh literally like nothing about that sounds good like i don't know i'm just i don't know like i guess since we're already here and it's the purpose of the video i just can go out and say it i really wasn't looking forward to turning 20. like i i really wasn't and i feel like i was trying to prepare for it try to be happy for it try to be you know like feel good about it but i literally just could not bring myself to feel good about being 20 and i feel like one reason was because even though i've had a lot of achievements this year i wasn't where i had wanted to be or where i envisioned myself when i turned 20. most of the life goals that i have in mind um are not for when i turn 20. like most of the goals that i want to accomplish in life are for when i turn 21. So in my brain, like I still have like one more year to really, you know what I'm saying, do the things that I want to do. But at the same time, it's like still, like there's still certain things that I wanted to have accomplished, you know what I'm saying, by this time. I know like if you guys have been subscribed to me since last year, um, when I had like my birthday like when i had my 19th birthday dinner and i did like the whole vlog and i took instagram pictures you know so you guys basically like kind of celebrated it with me in a way and basically i didn't do that this year either when it came to instagram like i was not present i basically was like mia same thing with youtube like no posts no nothing i didn't even mention my birthday on my birthday here's the reason why i did not do literally like anything for real for my birthday first of all last year i just went to new supply um i don't know what i did i don't know if it was a sewing or a quick weave it was either one of the two and i just styled that hair for my birthday and it looked really cute like i thought it was really cute um but it was in my head i was like i don't know like i just couldn't figure out what i had wanted and it was like i could do something quick or i could get a wig that i already have and just revamp it and like do that i couldn't really figure it out like there was nothing really speaking to the outfit so i don't know about y'all but i know that there's clothes that i have bought that like i either haven't really worn yet nowhere don't mind my pinky nail missing i'm gonna put it back on at the end of the video or like y'all just haven't seen me in i was like you know i'm like i could probably wear something like that that reason was because i have clothes that i feel like y'all haven't seen me wear yet and I also have shoes that you just haven't seen me wear yet, but none of it was really going together. So I'm like, either I'm gonna wear an outfit that y'all haven't seen me wear with the shoes that y'all didn't see me wear, or I'm gonna wear some shoes that you haven't seen me wear with an outfit that you probably have seen me wear. Or not outfit, but like some type of clothing item that you've already seen. I'm like, I don't wanna do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that. Lastly, the reason why I didn't go anywhere on my birthday is because well one like my dad wanted to celebrate and like wanted to like take me out to dinner and stuff like that and i wanted to do that too in a way but at the same time i kind of didn't because one last year i ended up making reservations and i know like i like to try new places that's my thing i like to try new places so it's like i know like a place that i probably would want have wanted to go 
I would have had to find an event in the midst of like all this confusion, like all this change and you know, things not really going my way. You know what I'm saying? Like at a life standpoint, you feel me? Like after all that, I lost it. Like I was down in spirits and you know, my little self just slipped into a little depression. Like I just wasn't, I wasn't at my best. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like going out wasn't gonna help me that much. Like I need time. Like when I'm going through something, I need time to recollect myself first. Like I can't just, you know, I guess, I don't know, like throw caution to the wind and just, you know, go out and do stuff. Like I just can't. Cause then I'm not gonna be feeling it. Like I'm really not. Can't fake how I feel about certain things. So it's like, I already knew in my head that <laughs> that we just wasn't gonna help me out. I wasn't feeling at my best, wasn't feeling my most confident, wasn't very secure, and you know what I'm saying? How I was feeling, wind, whirlwind of emotions, and I was just like, you know what? I just, I'm not gonna do anything today. Like, I'm really like, nothing. I did nothing that day. So, that's what happened with my birthday. Um, you know. We gonna laugh about it now because you know it's over with it's done with it ain't the same like you know what i'm saying like and i only lasted for like maybe like a couple of days i'm gonna say maybe like four days so you know we can a key a key about it now but just know that that was that was what happened like since then like everything has kind of like turned around for the better and i feel like i don't know if this is like because i'm starting to put two and two together I don't know if this is like a Zodiac type of thing, but I feel like this, like I'm not new to this feeling. Like it feels like to me, every other year I go through this. Like last year was good. This year was bad. And then like same thing for like my 18th birthday. My 18th birthday was like kind of bad. Like, but my 17th birthday, I think was good. I can't remember. I honestly, I don't even remember. The life lately though has been much better. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm starting to see that I'm able to do things now that I wasn't able to even think about doing. You know what I'm saying? Like a couple of years ago. And it's like, with that being said, it's like, I can't even really complain. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's so much more to be grateful for than to be down in the dumps. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, and it's like, not just with like the confidence thing that I was talking about. I'm like, there's so much, so many good things about me. I'm like, that I shouldn't be really worried. You feel me? Like I'm still young. I look good. So one of the reasons that I was kind of down or like during my birthday was because, yes guys, I'm back single. I'm not a big fan of change. Like I am, but I, like the older I get, the harder it is to deal with. And it's like, we have been in a relationship and or dating for like almost a year. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's such a dramatic thing to go from like, you know what I'm saying? Like being in a relationship and moving about the ways of being in a relationship. And you know what I'm saying? Like talking to that person like every single day, you know what I'm saying? Telling them things that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just was like, and then around my birthday, like, are you for real? You no, know, I just got this new translucent powder. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it in the um, description box, of course, so that y'all can try it. I'm gonna try it for the first time, y'all. I ain't even about to feel off yet. I feel like it's because, like, what really threw me off my square was because I was not checked out. Like, I was not mentally checked out. Therefore, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just wasn't, I wasn't there in the head. And it was just like, going through that change, at such a crucial time of my life, like me getting older, like I'm no longer like a teenager. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you've been a kid or like a teen for so long. It's like, dang, I'm no longer a teen. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm like, not to say that I never got my act together. Cause I'm like, I feel like I'm definitely more mature for my age. Like always been concerned about my future. Like I've always been concerned about, dang, like how I'm gonna get this money. Like, how, you know what I'm saying? Like I always been like that. So it's like, you feel me? Like starting my own business at freaking 19. Like you feel me? So it was like, I feel like I always been more mature for my age, but at the same time, a crucial time in my life, I feel like, and it was just like that change right there alone 
that I wasn't prepared for threw me off. Like, I was not rocking with that. Therefore, you know what I'm saying, getting over... Yo, this smell like candy. This smell familiar. This smell like... This smell like candy. Now, I don't know how old y'all is, but... This is when Spy Kids, I think, 3 came out. And it came out in theaters in, like, 4D. Y'all remember when they had them little scratch cards? No, wait. Is that 4D? had the 3D glasses. And then they had uh, the little smell cards. And you scratch them, you can smell them. That one scene where they was at the little Spy Kids headquarters. And they you could smell the candy that they was eating. That's what this smell like. This smell like... I don't know. I can't. I don't know. It's like a like a laffy taffy mixed with cotton candy. Like for me, usually getting over breaks up breakups and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it'd be a little hard at first. It'd be like, but then it's it's like in my head, like I've already, you know, like disassociated myself. Like I've already disconnected. You know what I'm saying? I didn't pull the plug already in my head, so it's like. I'm not tripping for real, for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel lonely, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But I get over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I can get back in the field quicker than, you know. But this time, uh -uh. I think it took me, like, maybe an extra day or two to really get it together. I said, basically, on one of my TikToks. If y'all follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. But, anywho, um, on one of my TikToks, I was talking about basically it was like a little joke like i wasn't talking about it It was like it's supposed to be a joke uh it was something like something i don't know if i said it or she said it but basically more of the story was like no more charity work and i know that's right i'm not doing no more charity work for for these guys i'm really not because i feel like every time i meet a guy and i i can't tell i don't know if it's if i'm the problem i feel like i keep attracting people who have like issues we all got issues, but it's like, dang, how many people am I going to attract with issues that seem either similar to mine? You know, like something that I can like understand, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, how many times, how many times, how many times is I'm going to find somebody? And that, that's the thing. I'm not even finding nobody because I don't know me. I don't approach anybody. Like I don't, I don't shoot my shot. So how many times is somebody gonna shoot their shot at me and they got issues? Wanna, what they say, what the word was, it was like if somebody cut you and you don't hear your wounds, you gonna bleed on somebody else. I'm not letting nobody else bleed on me, bro. I'm not, bro, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. If, if you got something going on and you got something that you're going through, you feel me? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to let you handle that on your own i'm not about to be fighting nobody else's demons i'm done with that um standard wise like that's just one of my like i guess like my, my red flags now like you know like that thing now like i'm 20 and you know like i'm basically like a business owner um not saying that you can't work like a nine to five job that's not the truth that's not true there's nothing wrong with working nine to five job but you gotta have something go for yourself like for real like you gotta have something going on and I ain't never been a type, I'm not the type of girl. I don't know about y'all other girls because y'all be living dangerous. Baby, I don't like like scammers and drug dealers. <laughs> I don't like that. Like, this is not a movie. This is my life we're talking about. If you're doing something that can put you or me in jeopardy, do not approach me. Tell the story, you gotta have something going for yourself. Like, you gotta have some type of dream, some type of aspiration, something that you wanna do in life. Like, I feel like I'm tired of coming across, even though I know that I'm young. I know that I'm young. I know that people are still trying to figure out what they wanna do with their lives. But at the same time, if I feel like I have what I wanna do in life figured out, you feel me? Like, even if I'm not quite there yet, even though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still have dreams, I still have aspirations, I still have goals that I set for myself. Like, I still reinvent myself when I need to. Like, you feel me? So it's like, if you can't do that, if you're not on the same mental plane as me, we we can't work. I feel like I, I, I'm at a point in time where I want to meet somebody who inspires me, not vice versa. Nothing wrong with that, but I feel like y'all get me. I feel like y'all get what I mean when I say that. Last thing, like I don't know if it's like a standard. I don't know if that's standard, but I feel like I'm not, I'm no longer dating somebody who I didn't like at first. Mm -mm. I'm not doing that no more. I'm not doing the, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a big fan of the features, but, you know, your personality is just good enough. Like, no. Like, when I first see you, like, if you approach me, like, I gotta like what I see. And one last thing. I feel like I'm really kind of over meeting people's parents. I feel like I'm tired of being the girl that you can bring to your parents. Always got, great like, good things to say, you know, and... I feel like they actually be liking me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty, I'm nice, I'm respectful, I'm smart. I got a lot going on for myself right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talented in a lot of things that I do. But it's like, I'm tired of making these connections with people's parents. And then a son turn around and act like a ding dong. Like, if you don't have no, you know, extreme plans for me or nothing like that, don't you worry about it. They don't need to know me. Aside from, you know what I'm saying? Like, being single, you know, being 20, you know what I'm saying? And going through these changes. I'm like, it ain't even half bad. I'm 20 with no kids. You know what I'm saying? 21 with no kids. <laughs> been life, well, I'm not living the life that I want to live, but shoot, as long as I wake up to see another day, I'm living life. In a life that I dreamt of when I was 16. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm living a life that I feel like was really out of my reach. You know what I'm saying? When I was a kid, like I feel like I was never going to have the things that I have or be able to do the things that I do. Like, prime example, I just got paid a weird company that's not the recent one that I just did. And they just paid me in three figures because my face was on their website. Who you know? I know it's not four figures. I know it's not five figures. Listen, I'm still a small influencer, so. But that's still a big thing. You feel me? Like, I make money from it. I'm getting paid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have my own business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to work for somebody else. I work for myself and still get paid and still do the things that I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm like, I'm sitting here stress and depressed but baby i'm doing things that people couldn't even fathom yeah mm. period anyways oh. what's your name bob said i call you bob anyways i say all that to say basically i feel like i learned a lot you know what i'm saying i felt a lot you know what i'm saying i changed a lot and you know what I'm saying? I feel like even though all of that, you know, being said, life's good in the hood, bro. Anyway, life's great. Still good. Things could be worse. And I feel like I've gotten opportunities like that I, you know, never would have thought that I had. So I'm glad y'all came in. You know what I'm saying? A little bit, little chit chat with me. You know what I'm saying? Like hang out with your girl. Cause you know what I'm saying? I feel like I talk all this, I feel like on Instagram sometimes, like about like, oh, like, you know, like a subscriber, you know, a subscribers and, you know, what we're called, like, you know, how I asked y'all, like, did y'all still want to be called a babes after we got like, uh, what do we get? I think that's when we hit like uh, 1500 subscribers. So I'll be trying to ask y'all on Instagram. That's why y'all got to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram so that when I ask like stuff, for like future videos, like y'all can respond. Cause I'm like, if you don't, how you gonna subscribe to the YouTube channel and be strictly on YouTube and not on Instagram? That don't make sense. Love y'all. I love when y'all, that was very cricket. I don't know what this was. Love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? We locked in for real. So if y'all stay to the end, you will real one. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, link to the hair this is from love me hair um link to the wig will be down in the description box below hope y'all like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like the content that i'm putting out and make sure to subscribe to the channel mm -hmm. subscribe and also make sure to hit that bell button subscribe so that you can be notified when i put out a video because you know what i'm saying you don't want to miss nothing okay just hit the bell button. It's all free. Just do it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, babes. Mwah.